Why is human life so valuable, when every other living thing is killed in bulk every day? Except human life is only really that valuable to humans. Most life on this planet would feast on our corpses without a problem. Humans aren't more valuable. The people you specifically know and care about are. You don't mourn the dozen people that have died globally in the time it took you to read this. Comment. You don't even consider the numerous people that have died since you made this post but if someone you cared about died, you would mourn. You'd mourn the death of your dog if you have one or your cat or your whatever. As to how we justify eating other animals. That's easy. The circle of life. We are an omnivore species. Humans rule the world. Probably that's why humans have their own lives valuable. If chickens would have been the dominant species or beings on earth, then they would have declared themselves to be more valuable because humans make the rules. You act like other animals don't slaughter each other on a daily basis. Predators literally rip and eat their prey alive. Baby birds will try to kill their siblings because they are competition. Most male animals will try to kill young animals of their species just so they can have sex. Humans aren't the only heartless animals. But to answer your question, Humans don't value human lives. They only value the lives they care about or deem valuable. Vegans literally exist for this reason. Because humans are not evolved to have a coherent moral sense, but a pragmatic one. We are good at compartmentalizing and have quite a cognitive dissonance about a lot of things. The point is, morals aren't there because of some objective reality. But they are useful from an evolutionary standpoint. We are very selective to whom we apply our moral standards. I personally believe the answer to that question is that it isn't. We just put value on it and that's what makes it important. Every other sentient, organic being life is just as important. However, we choose to view humans as more important because we deem ourselves to be better than the very animals we live alongside. So it's really only as valuable as you deem it. I'm aware my answer is kinda dark but I believe it to be the best answer to your question. Take it or leave it. Your call. Because you can't marry and have kids with any other living thing you will naturally have bias towards yourself. We are just worth more alive. Many animals are worth more dead. That's all. You collect taxes from living humans. You sell dead animals that the living humans buy. You tax them on that too. Humans are killed pretty regularly as well. Just not eaten. Most of the time. Litter size also has something to do with mourning for dead children. Look back even 100 years ago. People had bigger families cause some of the kids were gonna die. Now multiply that by the 6th of March 10 kids per dump of offspring. Easy to make 2 to 4 kids your world. Hard to make 50 over the course of 6 years. It's not like other animals aren't sad either. My aunt's dog would howl after he found out his owner and dog friend passed. And it's not like other animals don't hunt either. There are carnivores. They are what they are. Also, humans like other animals need or want to eat meat. And we've gotta eat something. And if you ask me, meat tastes pretty nice. So there are a few animals we have selected for livestock usually because they are cheaper and easier to maintain for farmers in their respective country. This is why exotic food is so expensive. And, a lot of people find cannibalism to be wrong. And we happen to be a pretty dominant animal overall. And there have been other dominant animals. For example, back in the day it was dinosaurs that everyone was afraid of. I see where you are coming from. 
And that's one reason why there are vegetarians and vegans. But it is what it is. Fortunately or unfortunately. However you may view it. It's reasonable to feel this way, and the logical end of the opinion is to stop eating meat. I've also wondered that lol. Because humans are the ones who get to make that decision. To be honest, I think it's about money. There's no money in the deaths of human beings because if we are dead, we can't buy things. There's plenty of money in killing animals, felling trees, etc. We wouldn't be destroying nature so voraciously if there was no reward. At least for someone. Humanity has been taking no prisoners on the road to exponential growth for a long time. Years past we could claim ignorance and now that we can't. It's tough to change. People are used to living a certain way and seeing things grow and they don't want to let go of that. But I think at the end of the day. Empathy and emotional connection with our own kind aside. These things are important. But unfortunately not universally felt by all humans. We shrug off the mass killing of creatures other than ourselves because we can profit from it. In order to make that profit, human beings must be alive to consume it. I know it's grim but when I see injustice and inequality these days and I want to know what's up with it, I just follow the money. I do acknowledge there is more behind the value we profess to place on human life despite endless examples that speak to the contrary but when held up against factory farming, etc. That's the difference to my mind. A lot of predatory animals don't kill members of their own species. Unless it's a dispute about resources or something. Of course we do that too but they kill their prey animals. Seems to be nature's way. Boy come to India, there's no discrimination here human life is also killed in bulk. R. Veganism. You don't have to participate. Be careful. You don't want Redditors to learn about their own cognitive dissonance. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.